Today's video is brought to you by Now Drinks. I'm really happy the guys over at Now reached out to me as I'm trying to cut down on energy drinks. Now Sense is a focus drink designed for gamers. It boosts your concentration and makes you more alert, but without any of the harmful ingredients that other gaming drinks have, like caffeine and taurine, which makes it a really great alternative to energy drinks. I actually really like this drink, and I'm starting to favor it over coffee or other energy drinks at this point, mostly because it makes me less jittery and there are a variety of tastes to keep it fresh. So by clicking on the link in the description, you can buy one big bag and get one for free, as well as you can get a 10% discount on anything else with the code is off. Terry's finally here, looking both interesting and terrifying. He's a really crazy glass cannon character with crazy combos and a ton of kill confirms, and he has a ton of mix-ups to recover back to stage, all of which are more or less punishable but it's really hard because of how many mix-ups he has. You can recover high really well, you can do a mid-recovery, and also go fairly low. The low recovery, however, has a weakness. It doesn't really sweet spot the ledge if you recover close to the ledge. What you want to do is recover as low as possible so that your legs are barely vulnerable. This will be the hardest way to punish a low recovery for most matchups. But even then, Terry will have 9 frames of vulnerability before grabbing the ledge. On the other hand, he has one of the best punish games, being able to kill opponents at almost any percent, or deal massive damage, as well as he's a heavyweight being as heavy as Samus. So if you do manage to survive over 100%, then you'll be rewarded with some incredible specials, which you can use as much as you want till you die, giving him insane combat potential and even crazier kill confirms. Just like Ryu and Ken, he will always face the opponent and automatically turn towards the opponent if they move around him. If he's shielding, however, and gets crossed up, he won't automatically turn around unless you release the shield. Grabbing or jumping will still have him face away from the opponent. Let's talk about his specials real quick before we get into his punish game. His neutral B is Power Wave, being a simple projectile used to try forcing approaches, damaging shields, and dealing good damage. You can either tap the B button for a slow and weak version, or hold the B button for a stronger and faster version. In fact, he has a weak and a strong version depending on how long you hold the B button on all his specials. Power Wave can also be used in the air to stall before recovering, as an edge guard, as a potential neutral mix-up, or to catch two frames as it lasts for a good amount of time. Side special is Burning Knuckle. There is also a command input for this move, which if executed right will make the move stronger. There is also a back special, which is Crack Shoot, and this also has a command input to make it stronger. This move can be a really good short hop or full hop anti-air, as well as you can double jump before landing. You can also use it at close range to safely cross up opponents. His up special is Rising Tackle, which you can recover further with if you hold the B button for longer. You are also able to hold down on the analog stick for roughly a second before using this move to gain intangibility starting at frame 5. This, of course, can also be charged in the air. So, as a recovery mix-up, you can air dodge, hold down during, and then rising tackle to try improving the recovery. Even if you charge it, however, and recover upwards, Terry will still be vulnerable for 9 frames before grabbing the ledge. This is where its true weakness lies. This can also be done out of shield by holding the shield down before you upbeat. Down special is Power Dunk, also having a command input, and executing it right will give you intangibility from frame 6 till 12, as well as you can spike opponents on the way down, both off stage and when they're hanging at the ledge. This can be done out of certain specials as you recover to mix up recovering high with intangibility right after. Once you reach 100% you get two special moves that are insanely good. The first one is Power Geyser, which can be done with a special input command. It's not safe against shield, but it does really good shield damage, so combining it with a tilt can destroy a slightly damaged shield. Obviously, you can combo into it and score kills, as well as it catches two frames or hit hanging opponents. And at the very very top of the explosion, there is actually a sour spot. It is also pretty busted for lich trapping as it pretty much can cover all the options. But of course it does require you to read the timing of the option so you'll sometimes have to do it preemptively. The second special move is Buster Wolf which looks like a command grab, but it actually loses to shield and can get punished. It is however an amazing burst option and with Punisher, with insane power. One setup in particular is to connect forward tilt into it, 
but you can actually DI up and away or just up to avoid that combo. One setup can be Jab Jab to Buster Wolf, which actually isn't fully true because you can SDI the second jab up and away or diagonally away and try to escape. Same goes for Jab Jab to any other special, you can also SDI out of those. However, Jab 1 to Rise and Kick or Jab 1 to Power Dunk will always be true. Another setup can be hitting the back hit of Full Hop Forward Air and then Fast Fall into Buster Wolf but it also won't work if the opponent DI's up and away, so eventually, down the line, it might get harder and harder to kill confirm with this move. But it still has a bunch of combos that can work, and of course you can still try to do it or just read their escape option and punish it. Something else is that it also doesn't punish a missed tech. And of course, it's also amazing against all the ledge options, as well as his hand is intangible. And from frame 1 till 15, he has heavy armor that can eat up 8% damage max. Both of these special moves only work while grounded. You are also able to preemptively do the input command, and tilt in between or right after with C-Stick. Then press B to for example get Buster Wolf. Something important to know is that you can cancel some moves into his specials. The moves that can be cancelled are Jab 1 and 2, Forward Tilt, Down Tilt, Up Tilt, Neutral Air, Up Air, and Down Air. They all have different advantages on shield however. So for example, Jab 1 and 2 are plus 4 on shield if you cancel to a special move, which means you can act 4 frames earlier than the opponent is even able to do anything out of shield if you cancel it into a special move. Down tilt is plus 4, up tilt and forward tilt are plus 11 when you cancel them into a special move, so these will be best for shield pressure as it gives you the most amount of time to cancel into a special move. As for canceling aerials, they have to be cancelled before you land them. If you land with an aerial, they cannot be cancelled as you will just suffer normal landing lag. If you do cancel neutral air or up air though, it'll be plus 4 against shield, and down air will be plus 6. All of his aerials are great for neutral, neutral air and up air being the safest against shield as well as most rewarding, as landing these aerials will always allow for awesome combos with a lot of creative and destructive potential. Besides, buffering aerials against opponents is easily punishable against a shield, and is mostly used in anti-airing, unless you take a big risk and cancel it into a special move. Forward air however has good range, lasts for a long time and is really fast. So you can use it to space and pressure with in neutral, especially since it catches jumps really well. As well as you can whiff punish well with dash attacks and specials. Otherwise, he also has a really good down tilt to safely poke shields, as well as a spaced forward tilt that can be great. Especially since it really pushes opponents away, as well as his leg is intangible. He also has a decent dash attack to try whiff punishing with. If it's shielded though, it'll be easily punishable, even when crossed up with at close range. Up air and neutral air are your best combo starters. as well as down air can be really good at starting percents. At higher percents, you might hit the spike hitbox which is at the tip of his hand, which doesn't give you any combos, but there is also an inner sour spot that launches them up for combos. The best combo so far is this one, which you cannot DI at all since your character isn't sent to the tumble animation yet, making it true on most of the cast and will be your best shot at killing. 
it can be pretty hard to pull off since after the first landed neutral air you have to short hop, delay the second neutral air perfectly and fastball, and then jump and buffer neutral air on the third one, to an input command strong burning knuckle. You have three ways to start this combo. The first is short hop down air to neutral air, which only works starting above 10-15 percentage. Landing with up air into down air neutral air, or just landing with neutral air. Forward air can be a decent punish and cross up, as even when you hit with the back hitbox it launches them towards you so you'll get to combo easier at lower percents. Back air is mostly for killing, but can also be used at earlier percents for combos or to set up for tech chases until mid percents. He also has a special mechanic where if he spot dodges, he can hold attack during to cancel the spot dodge into an attack, and he will remain intangible as he attacks on his upper body. The animation looks the same as up tilt, but it actually has a different launch, and will allow for combos which up tilt generally won't since you can avoid the follow ups, especially if you also DI away. So sometimes it's even better to do something like landing up air to a spot dodge cancelled attack, and combo off of that instead. His smashes are pretty basic, self-explanatory, and are mostly used to hard punish opponents. As for his grab, it's fast and can actually lead to some combos at starting percents against a lot of matchups. However, after around 10-20 percentage, the down throw should be DI'd behind him, so that he gets minimal combos or nothing at all. An up throw should be DI'd away from him to avoid any combos whatsoever. Otherwise, you can also forward throw or back throw to try forcing tech situations against some characters as well. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to support this channel, then please consider helping me out on Patreon. There's a lot of awesome rewards that you can get, you'll get sessions, and you'll also be able to watch these artifs way earlier than anyone else. And if you can't support me on Patreon, then please consider sharing these videos to your friends.